uh, get to that from it. Okay, so I do understand. Um, I just want to do this because I'll be one of the good fingers. All right, your interactive whiteboard. Who is using it on a daily basis? Is connection working? No, it's you. Yeah. Okay. What Microsoft app are you using? 365. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I'm here to give you some uh, additional training on your exact whiteboard. So as you can see, my touch isn't 100% accurate. So we are going to first showcase how we calibrate the rules. Okay. So you all go to your control panel, and if you want to write this down, mm -hmm. I will send Mr. Murat a link on how to calibrate the board. Um, you need to go to control panel. Okay, this one. Once you open up your laptop, you plug in your HDMI cable. Your HDMI cable reflects whatever's on your laptop through the projector onto the board. Correct? You all know that? Lovely. Then we have a USB touch cable, which powers the board as well as gives a touch. Okay? So now I want to use my stylus. Which kind of you get two styluses, there's no battery in here, so you don't need to charge it. You have an extractor pen to hit the kids on the head. Don't do that, you will get arrested. It's nice to know. <laughs> For those shorter teachers that can't reach up, you do have the extractor. And what's nice is if you lose those, you can use these. Okay. I'm not here to teach you anything really new, because what we're here to do is one note, word, PowerPoint, Microsoft Whiteboard, and then a few applications. Okay? I'm just here to enhance. Alright, so if you go into your start, you type in control panel. Okay? From control panel, you then go to view by, normally it will be on category. So as you can see, it's very really limited. You cannot see what you actually look for. You go to view by, change category to large icons. Yes, ma'am. No, 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 no. Okay, you're not using Teach Infinity 2 at all. The drivers that were originally loaded on, you are not using. So what Paris trying to do? Teach Infinity 2 was given to you for Mahala. Some nice free stuff. But what we've done is we pulled away from Teach Infinity 2 and the and the drivers. And the reason why is if you leave the school tomorrow, you go to another school. You don't have that application, which means you can't give the lesson that you're given because you needed on Teach Infinity 2. Also, do you have time to go and learn everything on Teach Infinity 2? No. Because you're teachers. You're busy with students, you're busy with extra activities, you're busy with lesson plans. Busy with school, just yeah. So what we've done is we step back and we said we are here for the swap out campaign, and that swap out campaign is taking away Teach Infinity and giving you a training on what you use every day. So no more Teach Infinity, no more um, Teach Infinity drivers. What happened is Microsoft did an update. Now you have to calibrate your board every single day with that uh, Teach Infinity drivers. So now I'm showing you how to calibrate by windows, which means you plug out, go home, come back, plug in, you don't have to recalibrate your board every single day. Make sense? Really? Yeah. Okay. So, control panel. Make sure your view says large icons. From there, you go to tablet PC settings. Okay. From there, you go set up. Okay, you can't do it now because it's not going to work. So maybe write it down. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So I go to my start. From start, I go control panel. From control panel, I make sure that my view by is large icons. From large icons, it'll open up a bigger options. Tablet PC settings. Yes, sir. 
Weil ich muss mir Unsinn. Oh, ich muss mir Unsinn. Okay, warum fasse ich von Unsinn? Ich bin nicht so Not find that these settings because you're not plugged into anything. Yes, that thank makes you. sense. That I makes sense. Okay, guys, I'm gonna send you. Okay, that was it. Maybe write it down or have someone to write it down. Yeah, okay. Then you go to settings. You only need to do this once, which is the first time. Okay? Then you go touch input. I see Sir is recording it as well, which is quite nice. Okay. Has anyone 
ever played with one note? No. Do you know what one note is? No. <laughs> okay, so the WCD, Parrot has a line of WCD, and this is something that you teachers are going to have to use. Okay? Does everyone know what a lever arch file is? No. Yes? That is what one note is. Okay, so imagine you have a bookcase full of lever arch files. Normally on the spine of your file, you'll have whatever is in that file. That is this column over here. Okay, then once you open up your lever arch, you then have all your different tabs, correct? Yeah, there's my tabs. That is this column over here. Then behind those tabs, you open up and you have a plastic sleeve. What do you put in that plastic sleeve? You print a word, you print a PowerPoint, you print a picture, you print and you slip it in there, right? That is what this entire page is. So there is a PowerPoint, there's a link, there's a video, there's a word, beautiful self-portrait, it looks like, right? <laughs> and what's nice is what Microsoft has done is they've given you a draw application. So if I go to draw, it gives me a pen tray which means that I can go in and draw on my page, okay? As teachers, this is amazing because you can all collaborate together when you look at your certain grades or your certain subjects. Where you can go in, I'm just going to use grade three because I stole this from my son's teacher. So what I've done is, oops, Always make sure you select your mousey, because that's the worst thing. So I've gone in and I've made assessments. This is for grade three. I've copied her email. And then what I did is I cut and I pasted the different applications that my son needs while he's doing his third term assessments. Okay? I've got English, Afrikaans, where I've gone in and I've added a PDF as well as gone and selected the file for it. So this is nice where you can go and add in your grade or your subject where you can go and add your content in that everyone else can, can work through if they want to. So I'm the kind of person who says I see with my eyes, not my fingers, okay? And if I see something I like, I'll then bring it into my presentation. Make sense? Okay, let's go to stuff that we all know. Okay, what is nice is I can add a page which will then give me a blank page. From there, if I go to format background, I can even go and add pre-shaped lines in it. Or you can go and add all your different other content if needed. Okay, so let's go back into here. PowerPoint. Does everyone know how to use PowerPoint? Yes. <laughs> okay. Parrot, welcome to you. Welcome everyone. Thank you. Lovely to be here. Okay. So normally with a PowerPoint, that's your PowerPoint, that's your lesson. That's what we're talking about, correct? That's what a PowerPoint is, okay? So what happens if a student says, but Miss or Sir, what about this? Still relating to what you're discussing, still relating to that your subject choice, but they want to find out a little bit more. What do you do? Sure, let's go and you go and write on your whiteboard, mm. right? Where's that information being collaborated together? Okay, so what PowerPoint has done, if I go to insert, insert new slide, insert a blank slide, I now have a whiteboard in PowerPoint presentation. How awesome is that, right? Something simple, but how exciting is it? Now you can take your standard PowerPoint and just give it that bar that Great? Great. So if I go select draw, again, there is my draw function. Okay. If I go to pair, I hope the internet's not messing with me today. So if I go high, and I've got a terrible doctor's handwriting, which I do sometimes, please work. I'm able to lasso, so lasso is allowing me to select it. Hold thumbs, everyone. Ink to text. No, I'm scared. Okay. So into text would then take my handwriting and convert it to text. So it seems that there is an issue with my internet, uh, but under normal circumstances, just play with it, see if it works for you. If not, then rather go and do it in another application, which I'll show you. 
Okay? If I then go in and make a beautiful swing, I'm just making sure you guys are awake. Come on. Again, select my lasso. This will work. Ink to shape. Yay! And it gives me my shape. So I can still move it as I. Sorry. Always make sure you select your mousey to move the objects where I can then go and move my object. Okay? <laughs> Next one is. I just want to move that to go back there. Next one is 1 plus 1 equals 73, 47, 6. six. Okay. I'm going to put there 6. If not, why not? Select my lasso. What does my lasso allow me to do? Select. That's it. Oh, And then ink to math and that. Beautiful, right? Because it obviously didn't pick up the 1. Okay. They didn't pick up the one yard yeah, off that. Okay, nice to know, right? So this is something where you can go and you can just elevate your lessons and enhance what kids are asking you. But I think that's amazing. Okay, all your teachers are going to go absolutely crazy. The ruler. Yay! Two fingers to move my ruler nice and straight. Because we took this away from you, so you can't throw this to the kids. That's why we gave you the extended right. <laughs> okay, select my pen and just go and draw a line. Move it down, draw a line. To rotate it, two fingers and draw a line. I know, right? There we are, done. Training's done. Very good. To deselect the ruler, I must say this took me a while. I couldn't find it. it took me about 20 minutes, I know. Just go and Deselect the ruler. Yes. Great, right? Okay. Have you ever had that a kid asks you a question and you've got the content, a picture, right? But now you want to bring the picture in because you guys want to talk about it. And you see how nicely I'm going through my documents. I know where everything is. Okay. For the more mature uh, teachers, so all I did is I found my image, hold my finger in, copy, back into PowerPoint. Who used to have a, can you see it's made a little dot? Yeah. So what does that mean? I need to go back to draw and select my cursor. I have now become a mousey. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So let me try that again. Hold my finger in and paste. Who used to have one of these when they were younger? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All the younger generations going, oh, what is that? Us mature people. What did you have in your briefcase? Books, books, lunch. I had my Barbies. One guy said, "Yeah, I said I should have been your friend." <laughs> so now, if I go back into draw, I can then select it. I can make it smaller, bring it across. And what's nice is I can still go in, select my pen, thickness, and make note that this is my size. Okay. So you see how I've brought something in, because we're talking about it, and we've even made notes of it. You can now save this file and keep it for next time, but you'll always still have your original. So if you do, you save as number two. Because when you come to classroom, uh, second classroom that's also got this subject, you want to then start that conversation with them and see if they land up going into that first classroom conversation. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're all still awake? Yes. Was it good coffee? Okay. Great. Or tea? Or tea? I'll say tea as well. Alright. What's also nice is there's ink to replay, which will then play back what I've already written. So this is nice if you've done a little essay in PowerPoint, which I wouldn't really think you would do, but it is nice that you can play it back. If I go to math, okay, there's obviously little other options, but I'd rather do that in PowerPoint. But just nice, go through it, play with it, and so. What's also nice is with PowerPoint, when you go and do your reel, so you're busy, sorry, it's just changing over. Okay, so now this is my presentation, we're busy talking, we're going through, and then we want to now discuss this. But one of the kids said, but I want to talk more about this. Touch the board once, 
select a pen and we can now go and say that this unfortunately, did I select a pen? This unfortunately is wrong, it is actually two. two. Then you just take your finger, uh -huh. just push. Keep forgetting to do this right. Let's go, keep it on. Sorry, then you can just use your finger and then go between the slides. This board needs a good clean, which I'll go through now with you. Okay, happy? Okay. If it's for me, tell them I'm busy. Okay. No, it's not going to be small. Okay. Just want to minimize this. Okay. Who uses Word? Okay. Have I taught you something a little bit different in PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. We'll go back now and I've got something to show you to see if it would work for you. Word it is a typed application. Right? So I still have the option to go and type what I want to type. Okay, which means I'm not excluding my keyboard. I still have that option. Or if you can, go and add a keyboard in your toolbar at the bottom. And you can still type what you want to type. I know, cool, right? Okay, does everyone know how to add the uh, keyboard in the toolbar at the bottom? Okay, let's see if I can do it. Hold in. Uh -huh. Taskbar settings. Every computer is different. Okay. Um, here we go. Under touch keyboard. <coughs> always. Okay. Then your little key thing. Like some of your laptops won't have it. Every laptop is different. Their settings is a little bit different. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. So when we do, maybe us as a team can help each other try and find that keyboard at the bottom. Okay. Whoever's opened it, do you get this option or is it another? Okay, so you get your, so maybe what we can do is we can just try to help everyone else to have that. Yeah. Okay, so still drawing capability in here, which is nice. So I go to draw. This is cool. Format background. I now have a folio pad in my Word document. To make it bigger, does anyone know how to make it bigger? Two fingers, and I can make my page bigger. Okay, select my draw and a. I think this is right. Okay. You get it. Quite easy, explanatory, guys happy? Okay, to remove it, you would then use your eraser and remove it. Okay. Back into format background because I want a blank page. If I go back into format and I go page color, for the teachers that miss their green wall, parrot did think of you. <laughs> okay. Can anyone give me an idea why our schools have green walls or black walls? Any ideas? For kids that are color Yeah. Learned that from a special needs school. I thought that was quite cool. Okay? So uh, my son can't see brown and green or green on brown. It's just the kind of thing. And did you know, I'm a did you know kind of girl, 5% of all men worldwide cannot see the color red. That's why they're serial killers. No, I'm But the 5% is true. Okay. Format background, page color. You can see that you have the different shapes. Sometimes we call them pure colors because if it's a very bright day and there's a glare in the classroom, the kid at the back is squinting because he can't see, you can go and add a pure color which just makes it easier on the eyes. <coughs> back in, full color, and we even have the blackboard and you'll see that the marker then changes to Okay, options, right? Did you know that word had this? No. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, back in, and let's go to white. Okay, so the difference between PowerPoint and the difference between Word is if I select ink to shape and I draw, sorry, choose a color that you can see, and I draw my shape, it will automatically change to whatever the shape is. So in PowerPoint, what do we need to select? Lasso, yeah. In Word, 
we don't need to say okay maths this is quite nice i'm going to get this one right now then one plus one equals two so i didn't do maths at school and then it will come up okay but if you have a look because i've now selected my math i've put my equation in look at the options that word gives you for math yeah, I made sure I didn't do math at school, I rather went to go do music because I'm dyslexic and I only find out after school. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay? So I'm not going to even attempt math teachers, I'm sorry. <laughs> but do you see the options that work with you? <coughs> sorry, cool, right? Alright. Then, this is amazing. So 3D viewer, I don't know if any of you see it. Please go to your start menu. See if there's a thing called 3D viewer. I know Windows 10 didn't have it, but Windows before and Windows 11 now has it. 3D viewer is a free application that Microsoft gave. Okay, um, this is amazing. Anyone allergic to bees? Please stay away from the screen. All right, so there's my bee. I can rotate my bead. I can make my bead bigger or make my bead smaller. You'll see underneath there's a light source. Right? If I move this up, I then have the different light source, the different time of day. Keep the visual. They want to see cool things, right? How do we or you as amazing teachers keep up with that? Is to find out what works for them. If you go to 3D library, yes, you would need the internet for this. There is an array of the uh, subjects on you. Okay. So what Word says, people are using this on a regular basis, mostly teachers. How can Word incorporate this into our sessions? <sighs> so glad I got pockets. Okay. So if I go to insert, make sure I select the way, because you see it's grayed out. Select the way, select the way. There we go. Insert 3D models. Please make sure you do this before the class starts because we know how patient kids are and they just sit there quietly and talk. Right? Okay. So there's all the different animations. You also have the anatomy, you have electronics, you have biology, you have your shapes. You've got your diet, there's a whole bunch of items on here. So I'm not going, okay, I'll just go into one just to showcase. So once it comes up, anything, this is not the right one, let's go to. So I just want to put one into here to show you. I've really got a page open that I've really saved it. Okay, so it'll come up with a whole bunch of options. Any one of these pictures that has a little running man means it moves. Okay? I'm just, you select it and you download. It does take a while, so what I've done is I have already created that. Where did I put it? So what's nice is you can pre-download and you can go in. I need to rob a bank, my fingers aren't working. Okay, so what will happen is it will then download. Can everyone see that the heart is beating? I can pause it. I can also rotate it. Push play. Awesome, right? And what's nice is I can still go in, select, draw, and this is a heart. Quite cool, right? Okay. I want to move my page up and down. What do I end up selecting? The cursor. Because if not, I'm going to have a line of pen. The shark. What's also nice is I can select my shark and I can move him and rotate him any way that I want to. And this is all in, where do I go? Insert, 3D, 3D models. Okay. Then for those that don't believe the world is flat, I have proof. Okay. 
and then you can go and rotate and move around. There's my earth where I can still go and rotate it any way I need to. Okay? Shapes, I just pulled off the shapes that were there. Again, you need to go and play. So what's nice is I don't now need to take my board home with me with teachability because now I need to play on my teachability. You can then take your laptop home and play it home. Then I can also go and rotate you any way that I need to. I think maybe a background image would be great there. And then as well, go and rotate. Happy? There will be a 30 page essay after this, 200 words per question, and five minutes of sleep. How many checks? What's also nice is if I go and insert and insert a design, I can now go in and write whatever I need to, and there you'll see there's play, ink replay. So again, you've written out an entire essay, you can then play it back to the kids in the next class. But, so it's taking your initial load and doing it once. Okay, happy? Thank <laughs> you. 
So I was that kid that was always behind, which was terrible, because I always wanted to make sure everything was perfect. Okay? So now what Whiteboard has done is, you have your different pages where you can go and it automatically saves for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new board. I'll go into this now. now. If your whiteboard comes up with these little dots, it just means the background setting. I don't know if you can see the dots. Okay? No? There's little dots. <laughs> okay. You go to the little cock on your top right hand side. You go to format background. And you make it a blank. Now you have a whiteboard. Okay. So I'm just going to do some numbers here quickly. So let's imagine this is a very, very interesting essay. So us as parents, we don't just show you how to use the board, we also teach you how to count. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I've run out of space, but I still need to continue with my lesson. So remember I said to you, you raise five minutes and then you start with your second section. If I go and select my, either my hand or my mousey, it allows me to move my content, which means I now have an infinity whiteboard. Oh, sorry, thank you. Okay? My board's not full. What do I do? I want to now go and elaborate on number one. Okay, make sure I select my little cursor or my mousey and move my content down which means I can now go and make a note on a number one. Oh, I want to quickly discuss what 20 is all about. Can you see how nicely I'm going in between? I'm switching my colors. And this is this, 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 this. Back to my mousey, two fingers. Make it smaller so that I can move my content up or across and now start with something else. Okay? But if I wanted to and only work on my numbers, I still have that option to move my content around, which means you now have an infinity. Okay? I have an eraser where I can go and remove what I want to do. I have a laser pen which then makes notes to say this is what we're currently talking about. Um, move this, sorry. Always make sure you select your mousey. We also have the ruler in here. Okay, still rotate if I need to. Okay, happy? How do I need to select the ruler? Why is we selecting the ruler? Okay. Who is that teacher that likes sticky notes? Come on. <laughs> teacher shy. Yeah. There's always one teacher. Don't worry, I've got you. I've got you. So if I go and select, it then opens up a sticky note for me. I can move my sticky note down. And what this does is it allows me to go and choose if I want a handwriting or professional. And I can open up my keyboard and then type what I want to type in there. Okay? You can go add them, you can move them around, you can make it bigger or smaller, whatever best suits you. If you go to the four, it then opens up sticky more sticky notes. <laughs> Yay, it's sticky note heaven. Okay, so now I go and choose my sticky notes, and what's nice is. So you do need to play, so you do master it. And what's nice is I can select the sticky knot and I can move the sticky note out. Awesome, right? All the teachers that like sticky notes. The men are going, I don't want to do with that. Okay. All right. Then I can also go and select my little emojis and it comes up with already a whole bunch of preloaded emojis. So I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger for me. So now I want to move it, select it as you would if you were a mousey and move your content across so that you can go and put all your different emojis. So <laughs> you guys all know Burpee, right? Good. Happy? Yes. All right. Next is your T. So your T would then open up your keyboard, which will allow you to type. 
You can make your keyboard smaller if you go to the little settings, keyboard layout, and make it smaller. Then what's nice is I can move it anywhere else just so that it's out of the way. So now opposed to me going to go and type on my keyboard. All right, guys, I need you to have a look at this. And I'll do half of you looking at me, half of you looking at the board. What are you doing? You're dividing the attention on the glass. Okay. Okay, as if I'm in front, I'm getting my steps in, and I'm walking, and I'm walking, your heads are moving, which means you're staying away. Okay, some of you. Okay, happy? All right, brilliant. Oh, I just want to go in. I'm going to go through all of this because it's a cool stuff. I'll show you. Okay. Then, if we go into the ready made shapes, I can then go and select my different shapes to move my shapes. I can go in and select these little guys. So if I want to move my shapes around, I can. So this little arrow here allows me to go and join my content. If I select this one and bring it here, I can go do it at different angles. So now this means that you can mind maps and play around and work with it. Does the school use teams at all? <laughs> this is going to be fun. So if in teams, okay, so let's say your grade 10, you've got how many grade 10 classes? Four, okay. So now you have four classes that need to all work on the same topic. One of the teachers are off, you've all got boards, you can all go into teams. And you say to each class, you classroom one, I need you to work on this. All the same subject, but all obviously your four different classes. Classroom two, I want you to elaborate and work on that. Classroom three, you get the picture right? Three, and then classroom four. Okay. So in Teams, what it's done is, if you open up Teams on those four different laptops, each class can go and work on their whiteboard without interfering with the other three classes. Sure. I know, quite cool. And I don't need to give you permission because you can just work on whiteboard by Joe. So now as a class, in four different classes, you can all talk about the same thing in your own way. Then afterwards we come back and say, okay, let's now discuss what everyone is talking about, but let's make it more exciting. What was the main topic that all of us discussed? And everyone can see it on your screen. Did I just make your life just a little bit easier? Because now the kids can see what you're working on without having someone there, or having a substitute just sit in, but still have that class there. Quite cool, right? And because you're in teams, you can record it. Okay. Make sense? Happy? Remember that the page essay, guys. I'm educating that. Okay. I don't know what else do I have here. Yeah, make sure. Oh, these are All right. go into my three dots and then opens up templates for me. So this is nice because it has already all the templates preset. It doesn't mean that you can use them, but they're nice to know that they're there. So there's brainstorming, there's all the different modules that you can look at. Why is not working? If I go to learning, they give you some more options there. There is a lesson plan. Let's do that as an example and insert this tab. I then have a lesson plan. So this is nice because you can keep working on your subject, okay? Back into my three dots, I then have images. 
So what's nice is it'll pull the images from either your laptop, which you've obviously got everything, or if you go to Binge, you can then pull up what Binge offers you, which is basically all the images of Microsoft. Can I do a water cycle? Oh, good to spell. Yes. Well, that's loading up. Any questions so far? Are you all keeping up? Is it very overwhelming? <laughs> but is it fun at least? Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, water cycle, I can then make it bigger if I need to. And what's nice is I can still go and make my notes and discuss or highlight specifics. So again, it's just bringing the world together. Okay. Then if I go documents, unfortunately it can only import PDFs. Okay? Sorry, everything's got to do with grade three. Well, my son's in next year in grade four while they have grade four stuff. So please just bear with me and I do apologize. So with PDF, what it does is it opens up your PDF and gives you the option, do I want to download everything in that PDF or only one page? Anytime. How's everyone doing? Good, lovely. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad you guys are patient and calm and rista. I don't know how long that will last. Yes, okay. So I can select individuals or select all. Insert my whole 28 pages. And from there, I can make it bigger or smaller. But what's nice is I can select one page, move that one page, enlarge. Where are you? Oh, no, I lost it. Where are you? There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Select my highlighter and say, all right, guys, I need you to focus on that. Okay. What happens if I've got a Word document and I want to bring a Word document in? Two options. Save as PDF or snip it and paste it. Do you trying to around? I'm trying to work around things. Okay. I'm just going to put the thumb up. You guys just say, yeah, okay. Okay, new content and video. So this is actually quite nice. Not this one, apologies, let's go to videos. So you're in YouTube and you're busy watching something and you want to bring it into your Microsoft whiteboard. Well, if you don't want to do that. So what would happen is a little section would open up with the HTTP slash dot dot you then go into your YouTube and you copy that link. We all know how to do that, I hope. Right click, copy, <coughs> paste it in here, and go insert. I'm not going to do that because we can already see that internet is loving me today. Okay? I've gone out, I haven't saved it, it automatically saves for me. So, what I want to show you in my lesson plan, I've already pre done this so we don't have to now wait patiently for it. Okay, we still have to wait patiently, but not that much. Okay, so while that's opening, any other questions so far? Is it overwhelming still? Too much? Do you feel what I've shown you is actually going to hold me fast? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, talk among yourselves. <laughs> Get that one teacher to ask those questions you're too shy to ask. There's always that one teacher, I'm only that person. Just ask speak to Alex. Alex will say it. Okay, anyway, back to. Alright, while well, that's fighting with me, so what I've done is I've chatted to a few teachers, I've heard their opinions, they want extra. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've spoken to a high school uh, around the corner here. And he uses Speak Pro, uh, Process for Educators. So this is an application. I like to find stuff that's free. My heart. I like to be stuff. Yeah, I agree with you. 
So what I've done is I've asked teachers what are they using that's free that can be used in primary and high school. And he said, speaker pro uh, progress, this is something free, where your students, if they need to create a content or lesson or something like that, they can go and use this. So that's something that you can go play with and see if it works for you in the school. The next one is search progress. Again, it will be a search engine to go find specific topics that they need to then write their exam papers on or assessments on or anything like that. There's also maths progress. He hasn't played with that yet. He said he's still in the process of, but he says that's also something that could work for math teachers. Okay? I think this is a bit smaller grade. So reading coach, this is more for your primary school, where it reads back to you, tells you what the vowels are, punctuations, and all of that. Then, free applications that you as teachers don't have to pay for. I mean, look at that. There's Google Classroom. There's a whole bunch of things, quizzes, Kahoo, and it's all free. I'm not going to go into it, but it's nice to know that it is there. Okay? I didn't do this subject specific. Did you notice that? I haven't studied for years to become where you are. I haven't given a class for years that you are. I'm giving you the basic tools for you as teachers to go there and create something that best suits you. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, collaboration tools, also very, very nice for, um, yeah, there's just so much out there that's in the chat free. Uh, risk teaching, so I was busy playing on Facebook on Friday and this came up, and I have a look. You attach it to your Google as an add-on. This allows you to do lesson plans, create games, and this is all the way from grade R all the way up to the tree. So what's nice is it's not limiting you as now we are concentrating on primary school, but we are at high school. Very, very cool. You can do quizzes on here. You can do tests on here. So this is also nice. You as teachers can go create an entire lesson plan using basically ChatGPT or Copilot. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Why pay for it when you can get it for free? This is for your science teachers. Just something I found, it doesn't mean it'll work, but it's nice to know. See, I'm trying to give a little bit to everyone. <laughs> Maths, uh, similar, symbol, math, uh, similar, also quite nice. It, so you put a formula in there, it will automatically generate the questions and the answers for you and how you got to that equation. So that's quite nice for math teachers. The Learning Center as well, which is a maths app. Purple math, I think, is more for <coughs> daily groups or uh, primary school. Khan Academy, also something free online lessons and practicals. Um, languages, I just kind of went through a few. Um, yeah, there's just, there's absolutely so much. History teachers, I didn't forget about you. Tree of knowledge, but I think it will be more along the lines of American or Canadian day schools. But play with it, find out what works for you. Who wants it? Who thinks that my whiteboard is opened up? Yeah, it's opened up. Okay. Okay. So what I've done is I went and I used videos or links. And I told you that HTTP thing mm -hmm. comes up. So this is what has now been embedded in my Microsoft. So it literally copies that link and puts it into my whiteboard. So this is quite nice, you can then create your lesson and still put YouTube videos in and then play it back to the kids when the internet works. How is the internet at the school? WCB? Great internet, right? <laughs> if there's no one using WCB, then I'm in trouble. Okay. Well, I'm on my own and there's probably a cloud in the sky somewhere. Who's got Sal C? Then you know what I'm talking about, right? There's a cloud in the sky somewhere, internet is awesome. Okay, so in a perfect world, your video will come up. Okay. Turn that off because that's just not working now. Okay, come back to that. Alright. Something else I want to show you which is amazing. Maybe it could be for the more younger foundation, but it's nice to know what you as teachers can find out there. This is going to take a while to open. Okay. Do I have any questions around the room? 
Yes, ma'am. Can it is that you have to learn that? How would you do that with your PC? Yeah, how would you do that? So in your Word, in your PowerPoint, yes, you can do that. Um, actually, there it is. But it would be difficult because you've got this entire page. So you're going to have to probably take specifics out, maybe snip it, put it in a Word document, and then print it out that way. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do a full Microsoft whiteboard because you don't just have one little option running down. You've got numerous things there. Did everyone hear what Miss asked? Can I print my lesson? Yay! Yay! You guys are lucky. Sorry. Will we take some to open? All right. So you're looking at me and going, but Alex, it's a tree. Two fingers. I feel like a magician. Oh, sorry. Premature. That was terrible. Let's try this again. Two fingers. How awesome is that? If I had this at school, I would have done a lot better. <laughs> okay? okay? Is anyone squirmish here? Got squirmish? No? Okay. I want to introduce you to Bob. Bob, say hi to everyone. He's a bit shy. Bob. He's looking at you, kid. Bob, show me your skull. Show me your muscles. Show me your amazing dentures. This is free time. <coughs> right? And what's nice is you can still move him and rotate him any way you need to. Water cycle. There is a lot of things on here that is blocked. Water cycle. I can make him bigger or make him smaller so you can see. Show me the groundwater flow. Show me the sea breeze. Show me the land breeze. Quite cool, right? There's so much things on in the internet if you just go. Best advice, Google free interactive games for grades, whatever it is in your subject choice. Google will pop up a whole bunch of things and just find what works for you. Beautiful. Okay. So have you here for another four hours? No, I don't know. Can you all please pull out your cell phones and take a picture of this? This is to complain about the terrible training that you got. Um, I just started, so please just bear with me. Um, no bad comments get me fired. Okay? My name is Alex. Hi. This is IWB training, interactive whiteboard training. Place will be your school's name. Okay. It's going to ask you how was your training. Be honest because your feedback is only going to help me get better. Okay. Then it's going to ask you what additional training would you like. Parrot offers three courses on OneNote, Word, and PowerPoint. Where we come back, unfortunately it's going to be a full two hours, where we say this does this, this does that, this does this. We are in the process of getting SACE approved, which means you get your PDP points. And we're also in the process of getting Microsoft certified. So this is nice as teachers, you need those PDP points, Parrot will then offer it to you. Quite cool, I think. Okay? Any questions? Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'm Alex. Where's the place? Your school's name. And this is IWP training. Okay? 
IWB. Interactive IWB. This is it. I know, terrible, eh? Should be a doctor. Only that's hard. So, now, out of all of you, how many don't have your cell phone here? Or you all got? Okay. Let me know once you're all done. When your phone is done. <laughs>